Because I mean, we saw the pace with which the advance team came through, but this, we have to just take it in. Very no regal, very solemn, yeah. coming in gradually into the square for the last time as president and commander in chief of the armed forces. And any moment from now, he will highlight from that vehicle and go and take his salute. And then the national anthem will be played in full. We heard it played an abridged, uh, an abridged version. version for the vice president for the last time as vice president. And we'll be hearing it in full, which will also signal the commencement of this event today. All right. That is the buzz of the, 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 the military music that is playing in the background, so ushering him. So you said the backpipe is already, they're taking the position and they're, they're already playing their thing there. And uh, this is solemn. This is majestic. This is deliberate. And this might be slower than usual, but it's for a purpose. This is going to be the final moment when President Buhari will walk into this arena or drive into the arena an interesting thing is, he might not even be convened with the same vehicle that took him, that brought him here, back. And no, he will not. Yeah, he will yeah. not. Yeah. At least for what we know, the coat of arms will not be on that vehicle any longer. And even the chair upon which he will be sitting for the next 40 minutes, it may not be what he will be sitting going forward. This is a traditional and a protocol uh, for which this transition period of our process we take. So the entire Eagle Square beholding this moment in history where the president, Mama Dubari, will be handing over to the president elect Balatinubu for a historic moment. That's the secretary to the government of the Federation. And that's the president being welcomed by the SGF. Mohamed Obuari, a former military general who had sway as a former head of state in this country uh, before uh, the 1983 uh, election and now he's back he was back in the country uh, in its run for election four times before winning it in 2015 and back to back was sworn in as a civilian head of government in Nigeria Muhammad Buhari born in Dora Katsina state as one of uh, those few that are lucky to have uh, governed this country and both in the military uniform Your Excellency, distinguished guests, service chiefs and inspector general of police, senior officers, ladies and gentlemen, announcing the arrival of chief of defense staff, General Lucky Irabo. Mesdames et messieurs, j'ai le grand plaisir d'annoncer la présence the chef of the Corps de l'Armée de Défense, the General Loki Kirabo. On General, soyez le bienvenu.
to the Federal Republic of Nigeria that as President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria I will discharge my duties and perform my functions honestly to the best of my ability and faithfully in accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the law that I will abide by the code of conduct containing the fifth schedule to the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria that I will not allow my personal interest to influence my official conduct or my official decisions that I will preserve protect and defend the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So, help me go. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, please a round of applause for the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency, President Ola Ahmed Tinubu, as he takes his oath of office, and sign the dotted lines confirming him as the new president of the Federal yeah, Republic yeah, of anyone. Nigeria. Thank you. C'est le moment historique. Maintenant, la prestation du serment par son excellence. And his wife. Absolutely. Senator Luremi Tinobo arriving together. So, and again, I mean, SGF also, also playing also his role there, he's welcoming the all of, of them as the chief host. Yes. Uh, he's the man who is a uh, uh, midwife in the transition. Uh, his office actually midwives transition process in the country. And I was going to mention to you, uh, as soon as the president-elect arrives, the next person to arrive is a vice president. Yeah. Uh, Professor Yemi Oshibajo. And when we were talking about the man Bola Tinubu, uh, we know that Professor Yemi Oshibajo served as the Attorney General um, his under government. his government in at the time. Yeah. And so it's, it's interesting, the twist of fate. I mean, the, the, our life, I mean, uh, things happen, uh, the turns and twists of life, uh, where you have um, a city vice president who was a former commissioner. Uh, under the, uh, the president elect, and now you see things are just churning, and this is how life is, isn't it? That's what happens to those kind of offices. So the offices just naturally yeah. they just take shape when whoever occupies all of those. So yes, as you highlighted, when the, after the vice president arrives, the president will arrive himself, and there you will then have all the other activities kick on after the president's doors arrive. So all of those formal handing over of flags by the outgoing president, lowering, hoisting of national and defense flags for the armed forces, inspection of parade by presidents and the commander in chief, the march passed in slow and quick time will also happen. In fact, Chamberlain, based on the order of events, we are two minutes ahead of time. The, the president-elect is slated to arrive at 9.50 a.m. He had arrived earlier uh, than Shadow. So this event, with what we're looking at, might just start very much on cue, right on time. Well, that's the hope, uh, Shewon. The hope also is that the president-elect will maintain that particular culture even as he becomes president. Uh, president Buhari, for all the criticisms that people will have for him, one thing you could not fault him for was being late to events. Uh, he, oh, he was a stickler for time, and I think that that designation, African that, time or Nigerian time, took on a new designation. Rwanda, Mark, Indeed, the arrival yeah. of the president of Rwanda, Paul, Paul Kagame, Kagame, into the state box uh, is also being witnessed right there on television. So we see the arrival of more heads of government uh, arrive in Nigeria for this auspicious occasion, the inauguration of the 16th president um, of Nigeria. Wait president. to see 
Good luck, Jonathan, Indeed. former president, also that. reaching out and welcoming the all some of the dignitaries. Like I remember he, he played yeah. an international role under this government, uh, yeah. peacekeeping mm -hmm. role in West Africa, in Africa generally. So mm -hmm. he's met a lot of them several times. Even while he was president, Paul Kagame was still there. So that. Uh, uh, there will be a lot of banter to be exchanged. Yeah. I mean, plenty mm -hmm. of uh, backpatting and uh, meeting up, catching up, perhaps to do before the arrival of the president. Uh, we also uh, see. Senator Gosolok Pabio as well there. Mm -hmm. Well, will be big questions to ask as to whether or not he's going to make it. Will he be Senate president uh, of the 10th Assembly? It's I still unclear. Yes, but. Hey, he's right, right and he's heading straight to the state box. Yeah. Um, and I'm assuming, and, and from what I'm saying, the vice president might be arriving any moment from now. For the commentaries so far, Your Excellencies, most distinguished invited guests, senior officers, ladies and gentlemen, this is announcing the arrival of the Commander Gas Brigade. Mesdames et Messieurs, annonçons l'arrivée du commandant garde de brigade de général A.M. Omar. Son Excellence, soyez le bienvenu. Mesdames et, et Mesdames et Messieurs, que le grand plaisir d'annoncer l'arrivée du président du groupe de Dangote, M. Aliko Dangote, et le président de Banque de Développement Africaine, le Dr. Akimwumi Adeshina. Son Excellence, soyez le bienvenu. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, permit me to recognize the presence of the former President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency, Good Luck Ebele Jonathan, GCFR, his lovely wife, Game Patient Jonathan. I welcome your Excellency. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, His Dignity's arrival unfolding here at the Eagle Square, Abuja, Nigeria where activities by Maxine today, presidential inauguration, swearing in ceremony between the president and the current president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We just witnessed a while ago the arrival of the Commander Gas Brigade, and in a short while from now, we shall be expecting the arrival of the service chiefs and the inspector general of police. As we await the arrival of the service chiefs, please permit me to acquaint you with the CV of the parade commander for today's occasion. It may interest you to know that the parade commander for today's occasion is Lieutenant Colonel Salim Yusuf Hassan, was born on the 6th May 1984 in Kanu Town, 
details from Fage local government area of Kano State. He attended Kano Capital School for his primary education. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, this is announcing the arrival of the full complement indeed. officers in uniform uh, to salute. Thank you. Lim National Nigerian. Thank you. May I crave the indulgence of the Commander Gas Brigade to invite the President and Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces to take his seat at the VIP stand. The Commander, sir. Veuillez vous asseoir, s'il vous plaît. Le Commandant de Brigade de Garde Nigérian doit inviter Son Excellence, Président Mamadou Bouhari, de nous joindre ici. Mesdames et Messieurs, ça c'est une activité vraiment très kaléidoscopique. C'est une activité très riche, une activité historique dans l'histoire du Nigeria. Le président Mamadou Wari, toujours souriant, il est là. Standard Saluer le président élu, le Jagavan. Your Excellencies, most distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, the national salute we listened to a while ago heralded the arrival of the President and Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari, on this auspicious event. And with the arrival of the President and Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, we shall now proceed to the next event on